Good enough. Thank you. Like <laughs> and subscribe. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Welcome to your channel. What we're doing today is we're just going to be working around the greenhouse. We're going to put mulch down on the ground in here, inside the greenhouse, to you know absorb all that mud, keep it from muddy being in here. But uh, anyway, <clears throat> it's going to be ten bags of this mulch, and here we'll make it kind of thick. That way the mud won't clop to your shoes and all that crap. So anyway, let me get the rest of this down, and we'll be right back. got black because maybe it'll help later to hold the heat and stuff in here too once you know it's black so We got the mulch scattered around in here, which is a lot better. I mean, the mud ain't sticking to your shoes anymore. It's good and it absorbs it, most of it anyway. But anyway, what we're doing now is we went ahead and got the rest of the buckets. We got enough buckets to finish our whole, uh, I guess, bucket system in here that we have for now. So what I need to do is I need to put some drain holes in the buckets. So, I mean, honestly, all I do is just don't press real hard on this because these are cheap Walmart buckets and they will bust. Just do like then one in the center that's all I do right there just like that we can see it so basically I'll just do that to all these buckets more to go. I got that's pretty much all they are to it. So let me get the rest of these done and I'll be right back.
these first two are ace tomatoes, and then these two are husky tomatoes, and then one, two, three, four, five are the beefsteak tomatoes. These are ghost peppers. The red ghost peppers. I'm gonna put two pepper plants per bucket. One, we're gonna do two pepper plants per bucket, and you only put one tomato plant per bucket. The big giant plants. Though. Chris makes his hot sauce with these. These and the Carolina Reapers. No scoop to do. Yeah, scoop to do. Yeah. There you go, just like that. Just like that, boy. That's a pretty good job. Scoop to do. Scoop to do, yeah. There you go, right in the middle, right there. Now scoop to do. Scoop to do. Scoop to do. Okay, see what you got. Right there. That's pretty good. You ready to plant it? Not yet. Not yet, okay. We're gonna plant rhubarb, but. Can you say rhubarb? No. You can't? I didn't figure you could. I brought a can. I'm gonna tie a up for you. Oh yeah? I'm gonna wallow Alrighty guys, if you can tell, I put another post in here. I'm gonna put one in on that side. What I'm doing is I'm gonna build a trellis. Uh, I'm gonna frame this in with wood right here, like two by fours, you know, make a frame. And then uh, kind of like, you know, like a wall type frame. And I'm gonna put wire up this and then over across then down the other side for these grapevines right here to come up and across and back down the other side uh, that way they'll kind of be like over the entranceway and this is all this side here is full sun all day long pretty much the sun rises on that side and sets on that side so i mean it'll be kind of just blaring in here all day long so anyway we got the i gotta dig the other hole i got that hole dug Right there, I actually got it down about eight or ten inches deep right there, believe it or not. Uh, I gotta come over here, get all the chairs and stuff out of the way, and I gotta come right here, four feet out, and square it up, and then put a, put a hole here and put another post here. And then I can start with the frame and up and across and uh, give her something to. It actually looked pretty cool, you know, the grapevines going up and around. And on the inside of the greenhouse, we got, got all the mulch down on the ground. Got the black mulch here. So kind of hoping that the, the theory behind that is uh, when it starts getting cold maybe this will retain a little heat with it being black i mean i don't know we'll see uh, i'll probably put a couple of things of water you know, like that but black black ones in here maybe to hold heat kind of like a thermal thing or whatever in the winter but we ain't worried about that right now but what we do have is she got all of her tomatoes in there's a crap load of tomatoes right here i got my two pepper plants in you can put you should put one per pot, but I'm putting two pepper plants per pot. And she planted garlic in this one. This is another one of my bush cherries. And these are, right here are potatoes. And it's just an experiment, but as you can see right there, if you see it right there, it is coming up. It is growing right there. Right there, you can see it coming right there. This one right here ain't doing much yet. And that's my bush cherry right there. If you don't know what those are, those are called Nanking bush cherries. Uh, those are actually pretty neat. They're, it's a bush that grows actual cherries like a cherry tree, but it's a bush. So I'm gonna let it grow in here and eventually I'll put it out, you know, somewhere else and maybe in a bigger pot or something. So anyway, that's what we got so far. The mulch is all down. This was muddy, it was a muddy mess in here because of that big storm. But now it's just perfectly fine. I mean, it's, this will do everything we need it to do. And as you can see, we got the buckets done. And here's some more buckets all the way around. There's seven and two, two and seven. And then, uh, like I said, later we may go back and put another row of five on each side, but I think this will be plenty for everything for, us, for this year because it's already May, you know. So, anyway, I'm going to get back in. Okay, Nana's going to put it down in here. We're going to have to put more soil, okay? What's Johnny from? Right here.
Gotta mix more up. Here, mix it up. Mix it. Okay, will you put me some dirt? Thank you. Good job. Good job. Okay, guys, this is going to end our video today. We got some more stuff planted. We got some tomatoes and some strawberries and cucumbers and peppers and stuff planted. And Chris and Jordan got the watering system hooked up and the barrel filled and we got it on a timer, so we're going to see how good that runs. And that's another video if you want to check it out. But if you haven't yet already, please like and subscribe if you want to follow us on our channel. Thank you. Have a blessed day. There you go. Good job.